But when you are minister for sports, your core business is managing our sportsmen and women. You are not made a minister in this country to fly flags in the streets and push and bulldoze your way through traffic with Subaru escorts. You are made a minister to serve the people. And if you are made the minister of sports, you must serve sports and sportsmen and women of our country. The best ambassadors who represent us. Honorable Speaker, you can imagine the, the great feeling that we all feel when these athletes are competing out there and they are winning medals for us. We all come together as Kenyans. And the highest representation we should see in those studies, our ministers not carrying joy riders on trips abroad to accompany them to trips abroad and doing nothing. We must see them here receiving our number one ambassadors around the world. Therefore, Honorable Speaker, on behalf of not just these honorable members, the people of Kenya and the government of the Republic of Kenya, I must profoundly apologize to these great men and women who have ably represented our country, but also promise them we shall take the minister to account for his time in office, and he must appear before this House Honorable Speaker to tell us why he could not afford time, not just for these athletes, but even for others, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, I am, I am constrained to say more because there, there is more I could have said. 